G'day guys, so we've had a few people say they've had some issues when trying to boot off the SD card in their terminal emulation software. They're just getting uh, no output um, from the board. Um, I did actually see this once when I was setting my system up uh, and I thought it was a bad SD card because I swapped back to my other card and it worked fine. Um, what we've found is that uh, it appears that under certain circumstances that that 3.3 volts that you're pulling either from the uh, JTAG pin of one or the left hand pin on the FB36, rather than being at 3.3 volts, there seems to be a significant voltage drop. Um, and it's been seen to be as low as 1.7 volts, um, which obviously means that our SD won't boot correctly. There is actually a fairly simple solution to this. Um, so as you can see, this is my board. GPS unit, there's the CAN, J2, UART connector, the FB36, and I've just thrown in the SD board as well. You can see the wiring goes from, I'm pulling power in this case from uh, pin one of the JTAG, um, and I often do that because it's got a bigger pad, it's easier to solder onto. Um, and then I come down to a 1K resistor, which then splits out to my probe and to the right hand side of the FB36. Now, in the original video, that is how um, I had it down uh, to set it up. We're just changing that a little bit. So what we're saying is don't put that 1K resistor between both those connections. What we want to do is we just want that 1K resistor to be on the probe line. So, very similar to before, we still pull power from the same place. Wherever you're pulling power from is where you're pulling power from, regardless whether it's the FB36 or the JTAG. Um, but the only thing you need to change is rather than dropping that resistor um, on the power line before it branches, just put it on the probe side. Okay, I hope that clarifies the issue. From what we've seen, that's fixed it for everyone so far. Um, if you find that uh, it doesn't work for you, there could be other issues. Um, I did do a little bit of diagnosis of this issue originally. And if you don't see anything in the terminal emulation software, um, it means that there is an issue with um, the way that your SD is configured. Now, whether that's because you've soldered the surface mounted SD slot incorrectly, um, whether you don't have power going to it correctly, um, I even was able to replicate it by removing the SD card from the SD slot. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, I hope that helps a lot of people to solve that problem. I know there are a few people that had it. Um, anyone else, this should take care of it for you. If you find uh, after moving that uh, 1K resistor that you still have issues, uh, just go to the Discord server, um, you know, drop something in the chat there and yeah, people will help you out. Thanks for watching.